Okay, here we go. I have been asked how I make my formula, so I'm going to show you how I make a perfect formula every time and how there's no clumps in it whatsoever, so you don't have to worry about your uh, baby squirrels, possums, uh, whatever it is. You may be feeding your Ispilac or Fox Valley. It will work with both of them. Um, if you use an Ispilac, make sure that you get the kind with the probiotics in it. This is kind of right here with the puppy dog, and make sure you got the blue ribbons up here. It will say the probiotics on it. But I'm going to show you how I uh, make my formula. Uh, I've already got everything set out here, so I use this little container. It's got the little metal ball in it. You can get it off of a Henry's Healthy Pets or a Chris's Squirrel and More. I have two cups of water that I boiled in the uh, microwave for three minutes. I got love my little measuring bowl. I got a little egg whisk. And I got an extra little a uh, uh, scooper out of the uh, container. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to take some of my Ispilac. I'm take my little bowl up here. I put seven scoops in here. Remember, I got two uh, cups of water that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And that's using the big end. Okay, put that back in there. So I usually take my fingers and I like to run it through it. Just to, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a sifting, I guess, like you would do with flour and all. It's just something I do. Okay. Then I take my extra scoop, which I've kept out there. At this point, take my hot water here. I just put in three scoops of the big ones of water. I'm going to take my egg beater. And what we're going to do, and I'll show you here in a minute, we're going to mix it up. It's going to make a consistency of almost like a cake batter. This is the point, to me, that I've done over the years with experience it gets all the clumps out it doesn't leave all those little clumps out so let me work it a little and then I'll show you a picture and it could take up to a minute just keep on working it here a little get all the powder down around the sides and like I said the consistency is going to be almost like you give a creamy yellow cake batter that's really the trick here everybody all the clumps that we get left over when we add all the water it's all gone here and uh, part of the trick is is the water I boiled the two cups in the microwave at three minutes it really comes to a bowl um, I'm not too sure how well you can see that we'll see when the video comes out I'm gonna bring it up I'm gonna bring it back but it's like a cake really curing cake batter that you just want to get in there and just lick it <laughs> Okay, it's all creamy. There's no clumps whatsoever. Less than a minute, the clumps are gone. You're not going to worry about your babies getting any. That's three scoops. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add three more. Three or four. We're going to use all the water, so it don't matter. I just like it a little more uh, liquidy before I pour it into here. Anybody that follows me on YouTube, underneath Mother Nature's Rescue, uh, I'll be putting this up on there as well to show how to make the yeah, perfect formula every time. Underneath Mother Nature's Rescue, you can follow us under YouTube. Uh, I'm also on Facebook. And you can find me at MotherNature'sRescue.Webs.com. I've got all kinds of need information on there of how to take care of a pinky video of how to feed them foods to eat and all just uh, a lot of the information that you find on the squirrel board it just condensed down easy finding information real fast okay so I got it all up there mixed we're going to take our little container which I said you can find on Henry Healthy Pets or Chris's Squirrel and more if you order from them I'm going to dump it in here Scraping all the goods out. Whip it up a little more. You can never whip it enough. 
I only make this amount up every 24 hours or as needed if I got more babies in. I got about 10 squirrels and one possum in right now. I don't make any more than what I'm going to use it within 24 hours. I like my babies to have everything fresh. So here we go again. Stir, stir, stir. All the clumps are gone, but I just all the stirring. Now, if you were going to add yogurt or heavy cream at this point, um, I add one tablespoon of heavy cream per every cup I'm using. So there would be two tablespoons of heavy cream or one table, you know, two tablespoons of yogurt. Uh, you could add a tablespoon of heavy cream or yogurt at this point. Stir it up really good. And then you could add another one after you add in this other cup. Put this in, stir it again. If you add in your yogurt of heavy cream, I'll go ahead and add your other tablespoon at this point. You know, you could add it and then stir it up so it's all mixed up in here really good. There it is. There's no clumps. You can't see here. <laughs> but it's like a liquid uh, creamy shake. I mean, it's a liquid uh, shake. It's not creamy. It's just uh, milk, I guess you'd say. It's a milk consistency now. There's no, there's no clumps whatsoever on my whisk. Make sure your lid is shut. Make sure you hear that clump or it's not shut. I made a mistake of it not being shut and splattered my stuff all over the place. I give it a good shake. And there you go. Perfect formula. Every time, no clumps. Your babies will be better off with it. Uh, this is just what I've come up with with years of experience, uh, about seven years experience of rehabbing now. Don't forget to follow us at Mother Nature's Rescue. And I hope this video helps us uh, save a couple of babies that uh, the food digest is better in your systems. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye.